Cool, so I just found out, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm using Bandicam to record this, uh, because I need to record multiple screens and Windows, the Windows game bar doesn't do that. And I found out this thing has a 10 minute limit on the free version. Uh, I may, 40, you know, $40 is 60, I'll probably want the $60 one, but that's not that. Actually, no, that's still kind of overpriced, but... Bandicam is actually pretty good, but whatever. So, uh, I'll be able to do this in less than 10 minutes. I spent like five minutes just making a bunch of garbage sprite placeholder sprites to show how you want to be making these bodies. So, here's the gist of it. You gotta make... The characters are all separate, are made out of separate parts. So, let's drag this guy away from the other so it's easier to see what's going on. The game is technically 3D. All Unity games are technically 3D. You just change the camera to like be this weird 2D thing. So here's what's going on. The characters all have two sides to them. Having two sides will allow... So if I go into the play mode... I, I'm not sure if the originals did this. I didn't. I haven't looked much for it, but I do know that in my, uh, in this, depending on which way you're facing, you'll actually see different parts of an animation, mostly just the gun reloading animations. It's like if you look at it while facing right, you can't really see, you know, you don't really see much. But then when you look at it this side, the whole arm's like moving and doing its thing. So yeah, you'll be able to actually have two-sided sprites in this if you'd like. So the sprites are divided up into... So there's two sprites that are easy. The head and the body are very simple. They're just one-off parts. They, you make them all as one sprite. And then the arms and legs, because they need a much more fine amount of animating, and it sucks, but you've got an upper arm, lower arm, hand, upper leg, lower leg, foot. And this is actually, uh, when you look at decompress the original, this is for the most part how they animated the originals because it is a, what did that do? Okay, maybe that's some sort of bandy cam thing. So that's what's going on there. So you can see I've already kind of uh, messed with those sprites. So let's turn this guy, yeah, piece them back together with the power of Control Z. So when we animate him, or when we make him, uh, what we what I've been doing. So I'll take the parent, which in this case is the tank. Chance the parent will always have the tank name because the tank was the first sprite that I made for this. That's why it's the only one present in the announcement because I made the announcement way too early. Uh, I made the announcement way too early. I, I mean, not way too early, but like super early in development, like before it was, it was barely even playable. Ironically, it's actually regressed in playability. <laughs> <laughs> Because I've been at it as I add stuff, I mostly only add it to player one. Because, like, why add it to player two when I'm also gonna have to add it to player three and four, and also technically five later. A uh, fifth, if when you're playing with PC, so I have the players one through five. Player one is the PC player, and then players two through five are controller players. So if you play with only controllers, it's just technically not even a player one. But, yeah, and what I mean in it, how it's regressed in playability, like, player two doesn't, it doesn't have all the proper bindings anymore. It's missing, player one has like twice as many things as player two, which is, and that's intentional, it's way faster to just copy, I mean... It doesn't sound good, but it's way faster to copy and paste it all at once in the end. Okay, uh, enough of that. Um, so, medic body. I'm going to do. I made a duplicate. Just grab. Drag and drop that. And 
so when you import the texture too, like this cavern's texture, you want to change this texture type to sprite, 2D, and UI. I don't want to do that for this image, but... So back to this. Now I've got that one like that. I will... Resize... Yeah, here, let me... I'll just do it this way. Quickly resize that. Bam. That's going to look so bad. Okay, maybe bam. Now we'll take the other... Or actually, no, don't take the other, just disable that. And then I'll. I want to do that for this side. Duplicate, uh, go over to placeholder sprites, throw that on there, disable that. Control C, Control V, oh, how I love it. How much time do I have? I have four minutes before this dumb free version of Bandicam tells me no more. Um, I suppose, yeah, so you just gotta do that for all of the sprites. And you won't even be able to see it. I'm just showing you this so that you don't like create a full body render and then realize, oh shoot, I can't use a full body render. That's part of what made ripping sprites so annoying. So, if we go into the animation, the there are two main animatable parts, and then the head, the body, the body has no animation. It it just doesn't need it. The original, like they made it do this weird bounce and bob thing, like it's a freaking cartoon. But I don't want to do that. It it just seems so pointless. I guess it, it does make it a little more lifelike, but that's not a priority right now. Um, shoot, where? Yeah, it's organized terribly. Shoulder pivot. The shoulder pivot is what the arms and gun is connected to. And it makes it so the reason I put it on the shoulder pivot so that when you do things like reload, if you look up and down, you know, if you look up and down while reloading, the arm will actually match. Yeah, like that. Ooh, hey, and on this screen, it seems like we've got our buddy here. Woohoo. How much time? Two minutes. So then, so that's the arm. Uh, the other animatable part is the legs. The legs do this uh, running animation that was annoying to make. And then the head, the way that the head is animated is it has a script that literally just makes it match the rotation. Woo. And after, yeah, I don't think, know if I mentioned this, but after looking into the files of the decompressed original, this is very similar to the way the original was animated. So if you want to make yourself some an OC or some sprites, like I've got myself an OC going here. Uh, like, you know, check out this. You know, look, it's Smile, because I'm Smile Jacoby. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can put it in the Discord or in the comments. And I think... I think I could have done that in less than nine minutes, but there you go.